why should we be concerned about climate change? Well, if we don't do anything to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases, if we don't stabilize the concentration of these gases in the atmosphere, then the impacts of climate change, of course, will be there in the form of sea level rise, as I mentioned. They would certainly be there on human health because climate change can be very harmful for human health uh, simply because while the climate is changing, extreme events are also increasing in frequency and intensity, particularly heat waves and extreme precipitation events. That means very heavy rainfall in a short period of time. Heat waves can be very harmful not only for the health of people but they could also lead to mortality. You remember in 2003 there was a major heat wave in Europe and tens of thousands of people died. Uh, also there will be an increase in vector-borne diseases because you know with a changed climate some of these carriers of disease will thrive, will multiply. So as a result, vector-borne diseases will increase. I also want to mention that the impacts on water resources could be negative. We already see enough evidence of that. Uh, there would be an impact on agriculture. And now there's growing evidence that crops like wheat, maize, and rice are being affected by climate change largely because it's leading to a reduction in yields. Yes, with higher concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere, there's also a fertilize, fertilization effect. But the net effect uh, is most likely going to be negative. So it is important for us to see that the impacts of climate change can be arrested, can be reduced or avoided. And how do we do that? Well, we have to start limiting the emissions of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There are plenty of opportunities by which we can reduce emissions of greenhouse gases. We can use energy more efficiently. We can make sure that deforestation is stopped, that we have much more afforestation, that agriculture, which also leads to greenhouse gas emissions, uh, moves to crops that are uh, much better in terms of reducing emissions of greenhouse gases. Agricultural practices by which emissions can be reduced. Industry can become more efficient in the use of energy. Transport can become more efficient. Public transport is one opportunity. More efficient uh, cars, more efficient vehicles. So there are lots of opportunities by which the world can move to a low carbon future uh, by mitigating emissions of greenhouse gases.